Guys, we're coming down to the end of a final triple header this season. There's only three rounds left of this 2023 F1 season. Can you believe it? I know I can't. But F1 heads to Sao Paulo, Brazil this weekend. Interlagos, one of the most hyped and most anticipated rounds of the Formula 1 season. And we are here. A sprint weekend, which I know. Hold on. Hold on. Don't click away. I know. Sprint weekend's bad. I completely agree. But for whatever reason, Interlago sprints just seem to hit a little bit different. Coming off of one year, not to quite to the day, but one year to the weekend, we saw a Kevin Magnussen pole position. Go on, the boy. Go on, Haas. Come on. Repeat. Repeat. I would be lit. But, sorry, I... Ooh, I spaced out there. I got a little too deep into the Haas energy. But nonetheless, let's move on. We're here to talk about the 2023 Brazilian Grand Prix. We're going to go over my predictions for what's going to happen this weekend. Like I mentioned, a sprint weekend. And we're getting down to the point in the season where the only thing we're fighting for is entertainment. And I'm here to get bring it along for you with my predictions. We're going to talk about my biggest positive surprise, my biggest disappointment, my qualifying top three, that's the Grand Prix qualifying, not the sprint qualifying. Our sprint winner, that is the sprint. My race podium, again, Grand Prix podium. And then, of course, Haas prediction of the race weekend. Let's go ahead, let's jump on into it and get this thing started with our biggest positive surprise. But before we get too far into this, if you are an F1 fan or enjoy sim racing, go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below. We do a little bit of both here. I am an F1 enjoyer and I admit, I love doing these race predictions as well as my race recaps, but we also enjoy a good sim race here as well. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you don't miss a single upload. And along the way, leave a comment down in the comment section below about what you think is going to happen this weekend in Brazil. But without further ado, let's jump on into it. Our biggest positive surprise. And for this weekend, I think this is a team that not many people are thinking about in these sorts of uh, these sorts of tracks, these sorts of circuits. I've got for Williams. Williams has been on a very sneaky level of very good the last few rounds. Obviously, at the U.S. Grand Prix, I was there. I saw it, by the way. A double points finish for the first time this year for Williams. Logie Sarge getting his first points in F1. Alex Albon banging home another P9. Rolling it straight into Mexico. We saw Alex Albon once again banging home a P9. And Logan Sargent would have finished P12 in a very good race for him, finishing only a handful of seconds behind Alex before a fuel pump issue forced him to retire on the final lap. I was distraught. But nonetheless, Williams seems to be sneakily gaining a lot of momentum. And when a lot of talk is going on about who's going to take P2 in the Drivers' Championship, where are all of these teams going to finish in the Constructors' Championship, Williams has silently been chugging along with a very solid string of results these last few rounds. And I think it continues at a circuit that maybe not too many people are expecting a lot from Williams. I think they could come out and play an absolute banger this weekend. The vibes are high, and I'm very excited to see what they can do this weekend so Williams don't let me down you're my biggest positive surprise all right moving on to my pick for biggest disappointment and I mentioned at the top that we were going to start getting a little crazy we're going to put some things out into the universe that are going to bring the absolute spice of life to the rest of this last three rounds of the F1 season that's right my biggest disappointment Red Bull Racing you heard me I'm putting it out there I've been charging up I've been charging up my laser, and I'm ready to point it at the Death Star of Red Bull Racing. Now, what does that mean? Obviously, we need to think about this in terms of the success that Red Bull has had this year. What a disappointment for them looks like. I'm not predicting, you know, a double Red Bull DNF, which, by the way, could you imagine the scenes in Brazil if there was a double Red Bull DNF? Oh, got a little too overexcited there. But... That said, we need to take a look at what happens based on the, the level of Red Bull that we've come to expect at this point in the season. I think it could happen. We're firing every vibe towards Red Bull to say, not this weekend, not Brazil. Brazil only breeds bangers, and I refuse to accept that it's not going to be a banger. So, Red Bull, you especially, don't let me down here. Biggest disappointment. 
rolling right along. We're talking about qualifying at top three. Now, this one, again, for the Grand Prix, not the sprint, this one could be the moment where it all starts to roll together. It all starts to come together, and it's supposed to apparently be very, very wet for Friday qualifying. And I've really gone back and forth in my head about, uh, about these picks, but I'm just going to operate under the assumption that maybe it's a little bit mixed conditions. Maybe we see some surprises. It may not seem like it in my qualifying thing, but don't worry. I'm doing a thing. Pause. I can see you typing away down there in the comment section below. Hold on for that thought one moment. Let's start. My pick for P3 in qualifying, Charles Leclerc. I think Charles has been absolutely dominant in qualifying these last few rounds. Now that said, if it is wet, it's been a minute since we've seen a wet qualifying and we'll really have to see what he can manage to do at a very flowy circuit like Interlagos in a, in a Ferrari that looks very good over a one lap pace, but we'll see if there's a little bit of a, um, you know, a little bit of spice coming out of qualifying. So Charles, you're my pick for P3. Now, P2, Max Verstappen. Now I can already hear you what you're thinking. You're thinking Dakota. You picked Red Bull as your biggest disappointment. Now just wait. I'm doing a thing. I'll explain more when we get to the podium, I promise. Max Verstappen, my pick for P2. And that's only because P1, my pole position, Lewis Hamilton. It's Now, okay. This one probably might be my biggest, my kind of craziest prediction um, of this entire sheet. Mainly, well, outside of Red Bull. Mainly just because the, uh, the W14 has not necessarily been a qualifying machine this year. Obviously, it has tremendous race pace. But it really seems like they struggled to put that over the course of one lap and getting the maximum out of the car in terms of one lap pace. But that said, Lewis has been driving that car over the top and so well the last two rounds of this triple header. I think it's near impossible that it all doesn't culminate in a pole position in the country where he is an honorary citizen and where they love him probably more than almost any other professional athlete from Brazil. I think it happens. Lewis, you are the man. Don't let me down. Pole position, Lewis Hamilton. All right, it is a sprint weekend, so we do need to make our choice for sprint winner. And now here is where the, the universe finds its level a little bit. Qualifying on Saturday, I don't think the weather on Saturday is supposed to be wet, but it could be a little green. And what you want in a, uh, a track where it's a little green is the best car on the grid. My sprint winner is Max Verstappen. Obviously, I don't think Red Bull is going to have a major dysfunction over the course of this weekend, but I have to also, also I need to, all right, let's real talk. I need to hedge my bets a little bit. I am going for a point system here, so I need to predict him to win something. And um, after a bit of craziness in Grand Prix qualifying, I think the sprint might go very straightforward. So, you know, Max Verstappen, my pick for sprint winner this weekend around Interlagos. All right, our second to last prediction, that is our Grand Prix podium, and that's we're jumping straight into it. P3, P3 in the Grand Prix, Max Verstappen. Yes, yes, this is the moment. A P3 for Max Verstappen. Now, again, I can hear your thoughts. I can hear you typing away in the comment section, Dakota. How could a P3 also qualify as biggest disappointment? Max has won 16 races this year. Red Bull has won almost every single race. A P3 from Max Verstappen, the way he's been driving the back half this year, would be a disappointment. It's also a bit of a reverse jinx just because, I mean, if I put him on my podium still, then maybe the universe will be like, oh, this guy, biggest disappointment, still putting him on your podium. Nah, you never know. You never know. That's all I'm saying is you never know. P2, yeah, we really need this to work. I mean, if we're being entirely honest, we really need this to work. And uh, if it does, we're going to look like legends. If not, we'll move on and we'll try and funnel it all into Vegas. Because that's that's after, yes, it's yes, it's Brazil, Vegas, then Abu Dhabi. Vegas, that's where it's all going to happen. So, Max Verstappen, my pick for P3. P2, I've gone for Lando Norris. Lando absolutely made a charge last weekend in Mexico. 
firing up the field to finish in P5 from 17th on the grid, I believe. Now, he's definitely going to want to make up for his qualifying performance, and he definitely, I think, has the car to put it pretty high up the order and to make something happen on race day. So Lando Norris, my pick for P2. And then finally, you already know where I'm going with this. My race winner in Brazil around Interlagos this year in the year of our Lord 2023, Lewis Hamilton. It has been almost two full seasons since Lewis Hamilton has won a race. George Russell obviously won the race last year, but I'm going for his teammate, Lewis Hamilton, who's been driving absolutely fantastically, a car that is very good race pace. We saw in Mexico that they were able to recover from strategy calls and slow pit stops in Coda to good strategy calls and good pit stops in Mexico. And I have to believe that the universe is setting it up for an absolutely perfect drive and a perfect weekend for Mercedes. Lewis Hamilton is going to win the Brazilian Grand Prix. Don't even move. Don't click away. We still have our Haas prediction of the race weekend. Like I mentioned at the top, one year ago to the weekend, Kevin Magnussen takes pole position thanks to a spout of rain at the end of Q3. An absolute masterclass from the Haas strategy and timing team. And it was fantastic for all of 24 hours before he ended up getting in some damage and some incidents in the sprint and ended up falling down the order. But for a solid 24 hours, Kevin Magnuson was on pole position and it was glorious. Now that said, I don't think it's gonna go quite as good this year. Um, the Haas car is considered by many to be the, the, the worst car on the grid. Now, do I subscribe to that theory? No comment. But I do think this could be a very strong weekend for Haas. For whatever reason, they seem to always do decently in sprint weekends, as well as in Brazil. Um, last year, it was definitely tough, um, tough sledding. But I don't know. There's It's just vibes in the air. And like I mentioned, we're getting a little crazy, right? Two cars into Q1. Into Q1. Into Q2, rather. And I'm predicting points for Haas. Now, I know what you're saying. Again, you predicted points in the U.S. Grand Prix. That didn't happen. That's right. That's because the universe gave me the signs a couple of weeks early. Points finish for Haas, at least with one car. I would love a double points finish for Haas, but I don't know if we're going to get quite that crazy. But that, guys, that's it. That's what I think is going to happen. We're going to quickly run through. I also like to give my community an opportunity to have their voices heard. If you're interested in joining in on making your predictions as well into the videos, go ahead, head to the Discord link down below in the description. Every, uh, every day or two before the Grand Prix weekend begins, we uh, make our predictions in there and be included here. So I'm running through quickly my community predictions for their biggest positive surprise. We have a pick for Sergio Perez. And specifically, he predicts that Checo will outscore Hamilton. Obviously, Lewis chasing down Checo for P2 in the Drivers' Championship. So we have a Sergio Perez believer coming off of probably one of Sergio's worst weekends of the year. We have a Checo believer. And then we also have a call for Lance Stroll. Now, it's no secret that Aston Martin and Stroll have been struggling for more than a few weeks at this point. Their decline from the beginning part of the season to now has been historic. Um, but apparently we have a Lance Believer this week. Getting a little out there. Moving on to their biggest disappointment, we have a call for George Russell, specifically calling for a DNF. Uh, again, it's no secret that George, while being uh, having a very okay season, has definitely not been on the same race pace as Lewis. Um, and obviously, a year ago, wins his inaugural F1 race here in Brazil. Um, but we have a call for a DNF for George this weekend, so sorry, George. And then we have a call for a classic Ferrari weekend. Ferrari, for whatever reason, seems to be in an okay spot right now um, with results. Um, but we have a call for a classic Ferrari weekend. Some blunders, some strategy calls that just don't go right. Tough scenes, potentially, for Ferrari. Their qualifying results. P3, we have a call for Norris and Hamilton. P2, Hamilton and Perez. And then they have a consensus Max Verstappen pole position. Don't blame them quite too much for that one. For their sprint winner, we have a call for Lando Norris and Max Verstappen to win the sprint. I would love to see someone else besides Max win the sprint or win our race this weekend. Time will tell. Their race podium, we have a call for Norris and Hamilton P3, a Verstappen or Perez P2, and a Hamilton or Verstappen P1. 
definitely getting a little uh, a little saucy in the uh, in the race podium. It would I would love to see a Hamilton versus Verstappen fight for the win in Brazil. It would probably be in makeup for this season, which has turned out to be probably one of the more boring when it comes to race winning, but definitely been the most exciting for the midfield. Uh, but if we finally finally get a race for the win, uh, blow me out of the water. I'm here for it. And then for their Haas predictions of the race weekend, we have a split bag. We have one call for points for Hulkenberg and then another for no points for Haas at all. So there it is. That's the community predictions. And again, if you want to get in on the action, Discord link down below. You'll, uh, you'll find the channel and uh, we do it before every race weekend. So get involved. But with that said, that wraps it up. Our official Brazilian Grand Prix predictions video. Oh, it's going to be a good one. I need it to be a good one. If it's not, it's just going to be the most disappointing thing probably we've ever seen. So I'm looking forward to it. I cannot wait to see what happens this weekend. It'll be the end of a triple header before a break, before F1 heads to Vegas. So Brazil always seems to deliver. I have to believe that this one's going to be no different, but who knows? Again, go ahead, hit the subscribe button down below, turn on notifications, and leave a comment down below what you think is going to happen this weekend in Sao Paulo. But that's going to wrap it up for me here. We'll be back after the race weekend is over to talk about what happened, go over our, way, our race weekend and losers, and then go over the predictions we just made. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.